Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So now that we've taken care of Hooktail and gotten the first Crystal Star, it's uh, time to head back and see where we're going to go next. Aww, a strong Koopa like you. Koops has got new fat resolve and new friends. No, you won't. I'll be waiting right here for you, opens up her Tinder profile. Let's see, oh, that's a, that's a hot stack of Koopa kids right there. Wait, no! Ah! <laughs> so we'll head back to Rogueport, head back to the door, and then we'll get pointed towards the next star. Koops, if you ever wanted a place that would turn you into a man immediately, come to Rogueport. That's a nice sweater. It's probably going to get taken. <laughs> In fact, that's a nice shell. Don't get too attached to it. Oh, I am kind of attached to it. It's kind of like my spine. Well, they're going to steal your spine. I hope you don't mind. So we can go in here and get this uh, Mega Rush P. Oh, that's how you get it. So if my partner is about to, about to die, I get a big attack boost, but... Hmm. I don't like them being in peril, because that means they'll die. And plus, they're just so darn lovable, you just don't want to see them in perilous situations in the first place. I, I know. Like, look at this guy. Look at this guy, his hands in his hoodie. Look at him. Oh! Uh. Huh? I love it. Shit, I'm gonna have to look up ringtones now. Got an email. Is that a DS? That's an SP. Oh, right, this is GameCube era. My bad. Yes. <laughs> that's a Switch! <laughs> How? Maybe that's why this game never got remade, because they'd have to change the SP to, like, a 3DS or something. Mm. I don't know. I'm gonna have to take a look at Luigi's Mansion on 3DS to see if the Game Boy Horror got changed. Yeah. But then again, Luigi's Mansion keeps going back in time, so Luigi's Mansion 3 had the virtual boo. So that was the mail that uh, Peach sent us last time. She's okay, she's all good. And uh, now they know that we got the map and the X-Knots are probably going to be on our tail even more, so great. In fact, right now, they're going to blow up the bridge. Oh, God, no! Coops, I hope you're ready to take down mercenaries. Now I'm ready to fight this Goomba, that's for sure. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, I still got that cricket sound of my hammer. <laughs> now they're just confused, as well as her and dead. Let's, tr let's check out Earth Tremor. Woo! Use the new power that we got. It's basically just press the button when it lights up. Oh my god! D oh, I, f I fucked it, though. Jeez. Took up the entire stage. Now, ordinarily, that was supposed to reach that guy up top, but because I sucked so bad, it oh. didn't reach him. And not only that, I can't even hit him, so I'll just appeal. Well, that was a... That was an embarrassing turn. I'm sorry for that. D I, I mean, it was interesting Damn it, that was a... Oh, man, I'm not doing <laughs> good this round! This is not the best time for me! My dude! Come on! <sighs> I do like the idea that, you know, Koops gets more fans now. Because he's, like, all confident and stuff. Everybody in the crowd is like, We love you, Koops! Yeah, Koops! Yeah, Koops! D uh, oh. oh, well. Dude, are you, are you awake? <laughs> I, I, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Won't take long to take care of these guys. I mean, look, he's practically already dead. Unless if I fuck that up, too! Such a disappointment. I know. If only I could get one of these for myself, I'd show you how it's done. Actually, not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna avoid that fight, you know, 
Fighting is not what I'm good at right now. I, I, uh, <laughs> Coops, yeah. keep running! Go, keep running! Goomba! Ah! It's like running away from rats when you're already level 30 or something like that. I just don't want to deal with it. How many low-level enemies can I run away with? More than I from, excuse me. Oops. Alright. Try to remember where I was and how we got here. Hey, uh, Goops, you know how to swim? Nobody knows how to jump. Oh, thank God. Hey, wait a minute, I just realized... Have Koopas ever jumped in this series? Not specifically Paper Mario, but just Mario. I don't know. Because normally when you see them, they're just like crawling around, walking around. Oh my god, Koops is a trendsetter. This is why he has so many fans. I wouldn't say they're incapable of jumping. Well, alright. We could, we could go down here, but... Uh... I don't know why. No! Oh. <laughs> Whoa! That was cool looking. So that happens every time you go into any water whatsoever. Oh. No matter what body of water, there is always that fish that's gonna bite the shit out of you. I hope it becomes a boss later. <laughs> Still can't get up there. Ah! Whoa! Oh. I guess that'll work. Well, yeah. At least you have your dodge technique down pat. And you're still chirping. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get rid of that chirp. I love the idea that somewhere, somehow, a dragon is just in absolute terror. Oh, my stomach. Ugh. There's a cricket somewhere on Earth. Ugh. Somewhere on Earth. God, I would hate that if phobias work like that. If it exists on any plane of existence, you're being affected by it. Good. No. Oh, well. <laughs> well. This just gives uh, Coops uh, enough time to sign a few more autographs. You know, toss them into the into the audience there, so people are so happy. It does give me appeal, I guess. So I can just. There we go. Why, yes, he is very appealing. Notice how he still has a messed up eye and a bandage on his nose. The messed up eye that uh, flips when he mirrors. Ooh, yeah, I never noticed that. Oops. There we go. Alright. Well, I think next time we level up, we should go for the badge. We're, still, we're doing pretty good on terms of HP and FP, so that's that's good. I forgot, and here is where the curse is, and the curse, of course, leads us to this thing here. See, this is my problem with the uh, Super Paper Mario, and part of the reason why I stopped playing. It all has to- it, it uh, deals around the center hub world, of course, and mm -hmm. the further on you get in the game, I, I'm like, wait, have I been here yet? I can see that. Because, honestly, I thought you were lost looking for the thousand-year door. <laughs> Maybe That's a little, but I got it. Not to say anything about your ability, but the fact that you have to come back here every time... Eh. Could take it or leave it. Well, now that I'm, uh, you know, working on the Let's Play and looking at the footage constantly, hopefully I'll know my way around. It's time to go to the water world. Is it? The desert world. Hmm. The fire world. I don't know. Desert. The spooky world. Where is that? What is that? But I don't have a clue where... Yeah. Hey, I've never been here either, so I don't know where this oh, is. Oh, great. So let's take it to Frankly. Oh, good, a crossfade. 
or sorry, a Mario head wipe. Whoop. <laughs> when you really have to think. He's <laughs> all that brain part. <laughs> I know, I'll go do the dishes. Just imagine popping a blood vessel for trying to tie your shoes. <laughs> Bugly Woods. <laughs> Some odd creatures live there. Here's a Pikmin. Duh. So, of course, there is a pipe in the sewers that leads to the Bugly Woods. Mm, Bugly Woods. Oh, yeah, and uh, some evil organization sent assassins after Mario. Hey, it ain't no thing. Mmm, Bugly Woods. Bugly, Bugly, Bugly. <laughs> Great Bugly, Bugly. <laughs> Yeah, I love that game, you know, where you try to find, you know, words? Boggle? <laughs> Boggle-y, the sequel. It's like the sequel to Uno. So we got a couple things to do first. Well, first of all, <gasps> hey, there's Luigi! Guy. What's up? What a coinky dink indeed. I've never seen that spelled out phonetically. So it turns out while we're doing our real adventure, Luigi is on his own adventure, running parallel to ours. What? Yes. He's Where's trying to see, he's trying to rescue Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom. Where's that game? So uh, here here we go. We're gonna hear Luigi's story about the Waffle Kingdom letter. Well, like that's I said, it was a really long story, but here goes. My big brother, that's you, bro, got a letter from Princess Peach and took off. Left behind oh, as usual, I was not. cooking a snack at home when the letter arrived. I'm finding we don't get else so much do. mail, so I was thinking, I'm huh? This is what the letter said. Sirs, my name is Crep. I am a cabinet minister in the far off Waffle Kingdom. Our land has been attacked by the Chestnut King who took our Princess Eclair. Oh, I ask May Bag for your assistance. The Waffle Kingdom needs your skills. Woods. I humbly Great. request your prompt responses, sirs, to send the Crep. Well, I don't remember it exactly, but I think it went something like that. With Mario, that's you, bro, gone, it fell to me to answer this plea. Getting only a teensy bit, I headed to the Waffle Kingdom to investigate. Oh no, first I wrote a note to myself about what I was cooking, then I left. Once oh, I reached the Waffle Kingdom, I met Minister Crip, who filled me in. The Chestnut King had kidnapped Princess Eclair and vanished. Get so many Apparently, friends. though, some oracle said a marvelous compass could locate her. This marvelous compass had been broken into seven parts by an ancient curse, and those parts had been scattered across the land. Can you believe it, bro? Each part of the marvelous compass was said to point the next. And since one of the parts was embedded in the tiara worn by the princess, I surmised that, I w that once I collected all the parts, I'd find her. Smart, huh? The minister gave me the compass before... Uh, when it activated, this entire thing lit right up and indi indicated the deep south. It was pointing me towards Rumble Bump Volcano on the Pudding Continent. So yeah, here I am! I'm sitting on a room port for Rumble Bump Volcano! It's probably gonna be pretty dangerous, but I gotta rescue that princess! Eh, what? Holy crap, did he just Wendy old bag us? He just did. <laughs> So now we got some shine, so we can power up one of our teammates. This means, technically, your first two party members have sleeping animations. Everybody has a sleeping animation. Oh, that's so fantastic. Because that's not the last time we're going to see Luigi. Oh, but thank gonna... God. But uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, bump up Goombella here. We're going to try and get as many shines as we can to buff up people as many times as we can. But, of course, there's going to be some favorites. Show Zippy! <laughs> Show <Shazubi>! Zippy! <laughs> Whoa! I didn't know Shine Sprites were capable of interdimensional travel! Ah, uh, yes, that one classic song from S Disney's Cinderella. Shazibbity Shazabity Zoo. Oh, wow, is that ten hit points? That's 10 hit points, and her attack's been powered, and she's got a new move. Oh, damn. Yeah, find those shines, man. Yeah. How bad could it be? Well, they're, they're everywhere, so, uh... Oh, that's good. Uh-oh. Uh oh, don't you hate that? No. Alright, well, uh... 
while she's looking for her contact lens, uh, we're not supposed to move. I mean, you know, what what are the odds that uh, the contact lens could be here? You know? But 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 hey, I'll uh, let her go ahead and find that, and uh, maybe we'll just. Uh, oh my God! Really? Yeah. Well. Oh. oh! You didn't even move. I just jumped. So apparently, I was already stepping on it. Oops. So now, as a result, access to the western part of town is blocked off. Now, do they infinitely look around for contact lenses? At like, what do you mean? is that is that the game's way of saying you're not supposed to come here yet, no matter what? Yeah. Yes, we'll get a contact lens later. Oh, okay. But we, yes, we really do have to find a contact lens. <laughs> Sure. Why not? So let's do a bit of exploration in the meantime. Take a little shortcut here. That's nice. Oh, but, uh, oh you can! can do. Wow! There was uh, one guy this way that I'd like to check out. Ugh. He collects star pieces. This is what the star pieces are for. Oh, for badges. Trade badges, yes. So we got attack effects Y, oh, that's nice. Chill out, pretty lucky, happy flower, happy heart, happy heart P. That's not okay, yeah, that's very nice. Uh, HP, oh, we already got a happy heart though, so that's nice. Uh, but, uh, well, um, we don't have a lot of badge power right now and I'd like to get some more star pieces before we start spending them willy-nilly. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and take that one, just to start oh. out with. Oh my god, attack sound effect Y, it's just a yell. So every time you attack, oh! <laughs> Yeah, do the multi-bounce. Ah! <laughs> go, Koops, go! Oh! So this is the fortune teller, if you don't know where to go. So I'm hoping maybe he can point me into the right direction as to where this thing is. What? What? It's a very impressive trick. I was about to say overly dramatic just to show me where shine sprites are. So we gotta turn sideways somehow. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, Kumbella. Force of habit. Ah, you're, ah, she's fine. So I guess we'll just, uh... Uh, turn sideways here, yeah? Yeah. That's one way to turn sideways, I suppose. So, obviously, somewhere in the sewers is a place and a pipe that will lead us to the next place we need to be. I wonder if it's right there when you passed it earlier. Yes! Is this it? Let's see! <gasps> that didn't look right. I... No, no! Oh. That's not gonna fuck. That's no. Well, that's not the right way. Let's just. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, you are taking damage from that. I am indeed. We need to get out of here. Yip 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 yip. <laughs> what did I do wrong? There's no, no, nothing in here. Uh... Hmm. Oh. Big old switch we can't hit yet. Oh, really? Uh, I don't remember anything else. I don't remember anything else either. Um. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh, indeed. <laughs> I mean, there isn't much sewer that we've been able to get to. Where could it possibly be? How about this pipe over here? Oh. We haven't been able to go down this pipe yet, but now we can. But, oh, we're over here. Whoa! Hey, that's neat. It is neat. At least to a building. <gasps> you can go in it! Hmm. Oh, well, you tell fortunes too, huh? So let's, let's give it a whirl, yeah. 
Uh, uh, special path? Let, let's just go the cheap path first. We don't have a lot of coins to speak of right now. I mean, in the grand scheme of things. You shall go right! That's what you get for five coins, buddy. So that didn't help matters much. We've been, quote-unquote, cursed now. Uh... But it's like a good curse. Every so often, in battle, something random will happen. Like, we'll either get a get an attack boost, or we'll get extra EXP, or something like that. It's all random. But that doesn't help us right now, though. Yeah, that wasn't a point forward. That was not the best, you know. Yeah. Ah! 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 Okay. Maybe we can fly... Is there something I'm missing over here? <laughs> uh, wait. No, this is the way back to Petalburg, and I don't need to do that or... No. Fuck. I wonder, does this mean we might get a... Crossfade! What makes you think that... Yeah, probably. <laughs> Because I can't think of anything. It's Hopefully it's not too obtuse. Uh, well, it isn't. So, uh, how about if I just go ahead and quickly crossfade, and we'll get to when I, uh, uh g g get a clue as to what's going on here, yeah? So here's an idea. How about if I go down the pipe, and there we go, uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh... How about if I explore the whole sewer before I start to question myself and run to a guide for help? Oh! Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? There's a, there's a badge up there. No, no worries, I'm not gonna eat you, I'm just gonna kill you. I don't even know if you taste good. <laughs> Guess again, nerd! <laughs> Bugly. Bugly, bugly woods. Stalkers? Oh, x knots. Uh -oh. oh, great. The, it sounds like the x knots are already in Bugly Woods. Wonderful. There's a good old narrative push for you. Oh, great. Oh, no! So not only are there x knots a bunch of terrorists, they're a bunch of... Eco-terrorists! No! Environmentally destructive terrorists! You know, I really do hope this guy is, like... a Pikmin parallel. Because eventually we're probably gonna see the x knots be swarmed by them. Okay, I want you to hold on to that Pikmin reference. Oh and, no! Uh, just, 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 just keep it in your pocket for a while, okay? Just, just. Okay. Tuck that this, in there. So let me, uh, so let me, uh, you know, fold it up nice and, uh, yeah, stick that away for later. Just All right. Tuck, just fold it nicely. Make a little crane if you want to, and just, just kind of, <gasps> just kind of keep it in your pocket. Put it on your desk. Just uh, keep it in eyesight because fold it, uh, fold it a little bit. Oh, a bulb yeah. orb. Got it. Oh yeah, there you go. Anyway, this is Punio. He is a puny. A puny, uh, puny. Oh. I, I say puny. Well, puny makes a bit more sense pun wise. So, we'll go with both. Yes. Gotta go this way, but there's nothing up there. How, how, how do I, uh. Excuse me. Uh, I'm a little too big to get under there. Yeah. <laughs> Some button around here. Open. Ah, the secret entrance. Oh, there it is! What the hell? Oh, I thought that was like flypaper or something. <laughs> there we go, we did it. Ha ha! Alright! Mario kind of clipped through the floor there. And with that, we begin... <gasps> oh man. Chapter 2. The Great Buggly Tree! 
<laughs> Sounds vendiferous. Ooh. This place is gorgeous. Yeah. We were playing this, we were playing this, you know, for the first time back in 05 and just be like, oh, wow. Oh, listen to that soundtrack. Well, we got a lot to do in this place. This is a pretty lengthy chapter, but uh, we'll go ahead and explore this place and get started here in this uh, wonderful, uh, wonderful world. Next time on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. God, you're such a tease. I know, I know. We'll see you next time. Bugly. Mm -hmm.